All right, that is it for Detective Ryan Kyle on the stand. Let's bring back in National Trial Attorney Michael Jaffer. Uh, Michael, I think this is my first time talking to you about this particular case. If I'm a juror, though this is important information, this is the investigator who was there at the scene, I'm still thinking about the mother of the baby who was on the stand last, where at the very end of her testimony, she was questioned about whether or not she was worried that her own breast milk may have had something like tiny at all p.m. in it, and her friend tells her, delete the picture of you breastfeeding online. Uh, yeah, I, and it didn't puzzle me that, you know, her courtroom demeanor and the fact that she deleted the picture and the fact that she needed a break, it's because she's got a civil case going on, right? So she's got an attorney in her ear coaching her, telling her, listen, I know you got to testify, but if you say one wrong thing, you're going to tank the defense. I know that you know, your question is about the, the picture, but uh, she's sanitizing and getting ready for her civil case. Uh, it's not a shock to me that she had this demeanor and that she uh, uh, made those moves. At the end of the day, she was also worried about her own skin uh, and her own culpability. And, you know, anytime a seven-month-old dies, uh, especially when they're nursing, uh, you're going to point to the mother. Obviously, you're going to point to the mother, especially when there's a lethal dose of uh, the, uh, the the Benadryl component in, uh, in their system. Um, so, you know, the case has reasonable doubt riddled throughout it because of because of that picture that she deleted. Uh, her testimony was not helpful. Um, and at the end of the day, this case comes down to proximity. You know, the case, the, the, the child was in the care of the defendant. Uh, she was found dead. She was cold to the touch. Uh, she had a lethal do uh, a dose of the uh, ingredient in, in her system. And so the question is, really, there's only two people could have who could have administered to, to, to her, her mother or the defendant. Those are the only two people. That's it. The, the kid did not wake up and spring new legs and go and take Benadryl herself. She didn't go to the pharmacy herself. Somebody failed her, but it's one of these two people. And one of these two people is a defendant in this case. The other person has a eight-figure civil case going on against the, the Army. So this case is a little bit sad, and it's also riveting. I, I really want to follow this case all the way to the end and see what happens with both cases. Uh, it would not shock me if this defendant gets convicted. It also would not shock me if this defendant is acquitted, and later on something comes out in the discovery from the civil case that maybe might bring the, uh, the binoculars back on the mob from a criminal context. All right, Michael Jaffer, thank you so much for that insight and um, legal analysis. We have to fit in a short break.